How did fan feedback influence your multiplayer experience? Fans have been great. They've told us loud and clear from day one what they want more of and what they want less of, great ideas, real passion coming from that community. And that's what you want as developers. I mean, it's humbling to be part of this community. And so from day one, we've had a really rich engagement there and they've given us feedback on everything from modes and new features to balance and things in the past that they want to return. Hands down, this game is better because of fans. What are the challenges of trying to push a shooter multiplayer forward? I think the biggest challenge for us around Advanced Warfare was really making sure that we kept true to what makes Call of Duty great. You know, all the things that make it best in class, from how gun-on-gun -gun action feels to that silky smooth, low latency controls, 60 frames a second, all of those things, you can't alienate that. But clearly we had to innovate, and fans were asking for a new way to play. We found that with the Advanced Soldier and the EXO, and so hopefully all those things together really makes us feel true to what Call of Duty has been, but you've really never played it this way before. What are you most proud of with what you've done with multiplayer? Always the toughest question for me, what I'm most proud of, because there's so much in here. I mean, I think across the board there's innovation and new ways to play. So I really love the supply drop loot system. I think the virtual lobby and the crate and operator is great. Um, new m modes and new maps, it's, it's hard for me to pick, but certainly I think you know this is the most reward-based Call of Duty multiplayer to date, and that's largely driven from the loot supply drop system. I think fans are going to love it. So you can talk about the system a little bit. Um, I heard it yelling at me when I opened the supply drop, ELITE! That's right. Yeah, we've got a really great system. I mean, the idea is really every time you play, you're rewarded in some way. And so either through time played or challenges earned, you're going to get these loot supply drops. And they come in three classes. Uh, new weapon variant types, character gear, which is our cosmetic ways to make you look like a total badass in the lobby, or reinforcements, which are sort of one-time use um, opportunities like double XP or rapid supply or perks or score streaks you can use in the next match. And um, you know, based off of, of rarities like elite, um, professional or enlisted, you really are gonna be able to customize your play style throughout the time you played based off of supply drops. You guys finally put in a laser weapon. Talk about that weapon just a little bit because it was really unique, I thought, for a Call of Duty game. Yeah, we're really excited. We have a brand new weapons class. In fact, our class is called the Heavy Weapons, and within that is a brand new type of weapon called Directed Energy. And this was you know, driven from research we did throughout the game about real tech that's coming in the year 2054. So weaponized energy, or in this form of weaponized energy, it is sort of laser, as, as you typically are used to seeing. Um, sort of operates like an LMG, but you don't have a reload, so if you manage your battery, um, you can really operate from a, an LMG sense in a pretty exciting way. We've got um, other types of directed energy weapons as well, um, short range and long range, so it gives a lot of flexibility and choice for the player. You talk about your new maps and how they're designed to stop flanking happening accidentally. <sighs> yeah, we came back to the core principle in Call of Duty uh, map design around the three lane clean designs with safe spawn zones, and we started from there. And that's really what we've shown over time to be sort of the most popular maps, the best engagements. Um, and then of course our challenge was how do you take that vertical through boost jump and the exoskeleton. So we spent three years really trying to get that right, very balanced, fast, quick to engagement model with the added complexity of uh, verticality. What's your favorite game type and map to play and what advice would you give to players? Wow, that's a great question. Okay, so. I mean, I'm a team deathmatch guy, but I love objective-based modes, and right now we're all having a ton of fun with the new mode, Uplink. Yeah, <laughs> so that's proven. I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, it's really sort of a team dynamic around getting your satellite drone to a goalpost, really, or your Uplink device. Um, man, the maps are fantastic. I mean, one that's close to, uh, close to my heart, I love Defender. It's based right here in San Francisco. It's got a tsunami dynamic event that rolls in. Um, and with loot and everything that brings and create a class, there's a ton of choice. So, you know, I'm really enjoying um, all the flexibility it offers me. I think, what could I offer a player? Here's a couple of pieces of advice. Um, one, you're gonna move fast. Um, the EXO is key, right? You get around the map super fast in all game modes. Um, blast suppressor as a particular perk that basically silences your EXO. It's like a silencer uh, silences your, your weapon. It's pretty key to keeping you off the mini map.